If you're a tradesman and have an iOS on Android device, you need to look at this solution. If you're trying to locate issues in HVAC systems, electrical systems, maintenance systems, then this is a no-brainer. When you pick up this pocket imager and connect it to your device, you're opening up a whole new world of problem-solving possibilities. The Fluke IC thermal camera is totally unlike Fluke's other thermal cameras. It's a pocket-sized plug-in Android and iPhone thermal camera that every electrician, plumber, heating engineer, and maintenance technician needs. And we're gonna tell you why. It's versatile, it's powerful, and it's easy to use. This little Android and iPhone thermal camera is going to make your job easier and more efficient. To tell us exactly how the Fluke IC thermal camera will revolutionize your working life is Mark Sherwood, Fluke's technical sales manager for the UK and Ireland. Welcome, Mark. Hi. So today we're talking about the Fluke IC thermal camera, which is like completely different from Fluke's other thermal cameras. Yes. So please, could you tell us um, how it works and what separates it from other thermal images? Okay, well, this is Fluke's first edition of a mobile phone-driven thermal imaging camera. As you can see by the port here at the top, it connects directly to your mobile phone and via an app that's available on the web stores as you uh, will be commonly using. Um, you can download the IC app and that would be uh, there to drive this uh, new addition to the Fluke thermal imaging family. And so as you mentioned, it's um, operated by the IC app. Please, could you tell us a bit more about the app? Like what features and functions does it offer? Okay, well, the app is a very strong app as you'd expect it because the power of thermography, it requires a number of little things that need to be added to give context to the image that you're taking. So the app itself can obviously change a palette so people can discern in black and white easier than maybe able to with colour. You can change from an iron bow to multiple colours, just depending on your personal preference. It has the ability to put hot points on there, so min, max values. Um, you can put high and low alarms on there, so that obviously you can target specific temperature thresholds that you may be looking at. And on top of that, we allow the ability to add text and annotation in there as well that can all go and be saved against that individual image and reported out. Right, so as you say, the IC thermal camera is operated by the IC app. So could you tell us a little bit more about the app, like its features sure. and functions, please? Okay, no problem at all. Well, what I've got here is obviously my phone and I've connected the IC into the base of the phone at the input, as you can appreciate. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got the device. You can see that the uh, IC is connected to my mobile phone using the connection port at the bottom. And then across the top here, you can see that we have a number of different icons available. So the first one being is the camera, whether you want to activate a camera and it's going to put a little image as you can see there in the top there. And again, that's a picture and picture display and we can turn that off as well. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one along here is about the brightness and contrast, which again, using the sliders, you can move to a, a position that's comfortable for yourself. I'll just turn that one. The next one is about the measurement settings that we have. Now, we have a, po a pointer on here where we can, we can just select this and it will put various points onto there wherever you want to position them. And then should you want to remove it, you could just touch it and then hit the delete key. Mm -hmm. And that will then remove that automatically. Other ones that we've got on that setting there for the measurement is line markers. So again, we have a line, so we can, we can slide that across and it will give you the points and then the average temperature across those points there as well. Again, you can hit the delete should you want to remove that. The next one along here is about correction. So this one will just auto correct itself. Um, it's just a push of button and then it will automatically do that. And then the final one you see here, which is your typical one for settings. Again, this is your personal settings. So would you like it to be in auto ranging? Would you like it in centigrade Fahrenheit, et cetera? Min max differences. Now on the min max difference, this is a pocket thermal imager. And one of the key things to note is that this is ideally used for like sort of panel inspections, hot wires, connections, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And typical distance from the IC to the object that you're looking to take the thermal image of would probably be about a meter, maybe a little bit further, but it's set at one meter. Okay. The camera itself can go as far as up to five meters as well. So again, just to get the best field of view and get the, um, I'll call it the focus at best, yeah. then adjust that according to the distance you want to optimally work at. Other things we have in here are high and low alarm settings that you can put in here. So 
again, where you've got temperature alarm, you can just slide this marker across, click on it, and then you can set in high or low alarm thresholds and any actions you want that to take. Yeah. Okay, I'll just turn that back off. And then moving on from this one, you've got the ability to do various other settings as well. And the last one I want to mention on this section is the test report. On the image that you've just taken, you can produce a test report and you can uh, email that out from here and it can be received into your email box as a Word document with the image and corresponding radiometric data. And can all these settings be adjusted like for each individual image? Correct, yes. Each individual image, they can be adjusted and they can also be adjusted by whoever actually uses the camera. Yeah. One of the other things to note as well is palettes. Now, down the bottom here, yeah. we actually have the ability to change to various palettes depending on how the customer or user would like to see it. Red reflecting the hottest, and in this case, blue reflecting the coolest within this auto-ranging scale here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, moving on from that one, if I just come off that one now, and then the, one of the latter things to mention on here is, yes, you can flip the camera around as well, and we could also do a record feature as well here. So it would actually take a short burst video by stopping and starting and allowing that to capture that one straight away. Okay, and I'll just put that back on camera. And that is a very quick overview of the features and functions that we have on our IC module. Great, thank you. No problem. Now let's talk about the Fluke IC thermal camera itself. Okay. Um, what does it offer? What specifications does it offer by way of like resolution and other imaging specifications? Okay. Well, the detector itself is probably the first thing to mention. It's got a very strong detector. It's 256 by 192. Um, and what that means is basically taking 50,000 measurements, just shy of that, it's uh, 49,000 or something. Okay, so again, it's roughly 50,000 images that the data points is going to collect of full radiometric data. So as you know, those that data can be corresponded to a color and therefore can be visually represented like we see in the IC app there as well. Temperature range, it can go obviously up to 550 degrees. So again, that will cover a good spectrum of most applications, if you like, that users are typically going to come across. Um, I mentioned the distance previously. It can go down to less than half a meter. It's defaulted set to one meter, but can extend to five meters as well. And then one of the other things to note is the sensitivity of the unit as well. It operates on 50 millikelvins. Mm -hmm. So again, what that means there, it's able to adjust to its sensitivity to obviously slight changes in temperature as well. So overall, it's, it's a very good and very strong, powerful camera, basically there, that's going to be a complement to anybody's tools that they need. Yeah, and uh, there are two versions of it available. One with a 9 hertz frame rate, frame rate and one with a 25 hertz frame right. rate. So in which situation would someone pick a 9 hertz over a 25 hertz and vice versa? Okay, um, well, the long and short of it is it's sampling. So it's, it basically comes to the refresh rates and video capture. So obviously, if somebody's likely to take slightly more videos, then they might want to take a slightly faster sampling rate. And therefore, the 25 hertz one probably would be more suitable for their unique application. But again, it's, it's, they're open to whichever one the customer specifically needs. Yes, it's mainly down to personal preference. Yeah, personal preference, exactly. To read more about the Fluke IC thermal camera and the Fluke IC app, click the box above to download the spec sheet. Coming up, we're going to discuss how the IC's imaging, analysis, and reporting functions will improve the ease and efficiency of your everyday work. I want to talk a little bit more about some of the imaging and analysis and reporting functions you mentioned earlier. Sure. So you mentioned adjustable emissivity and brightness and contrast. Yes. And I want to find out why that's such a key feature of the IC thermal camera and what the benefit is to the end user. Okay. Well, the contrast and the brightness is purely down to individual user. Obviously, people like to see different things, bright and more contrast, light and dark. And that's, that's all about personal preference. The emissivity is the rate of which the energy is emitted from the surface of the material that you're having your field of shot. So if you're looking at something that's a, a matted one, um, then obviously it's going to have a higher emissivity value than something with a more reflective surface potentially. And then, so every surface has a different rate of emissivity. And because of that, you might want to adjust it to get the most accurate results that you can using this camera. You also mentioned high and low temperature alarms. Again, could you explain why this is advantageous? Sure. Okay, well, alarm settings are, again, it's, it's a personal preference. Some people like to do what we call quantitative scans. Some people do qualitative scans. And what we mean by there is, are people looking at very much definitive temperatures? They want the, they want the accuracy, if you like. And with that there, they will be looking at specific points and specific temperatures. Hence, we use markers. And that's the key point for that. If somebody wants to do a quick scan and they're looking for something that exceeds a temperature point, let's say, 
they're looking for hot spots above 50 degrees or 70 degrees or whatever that threshold might be. You can set a high alarm. So what that does, it draws your attention then to everything that exceeds that and masks out everything that isn't. So again, it helps you focus on what you want to see quicker and easier. You also mentioned you can create reports with the IC app. Um, could you just tell us a little bit more about what kind of reports um, you can create? Okay, well, to be honest with you, it is a very basic report. What it does is it puts all the information you can put against the image you've taken. So once you save the image after adding any text you choose to do, the locations you are, et cetera. Now, the location is taken by where the phone is as well. So you can mm -hmm. tag in some, I'll call it loosely GPS positioning, basically, so it knows where you are. But after that, what you have is the ability for the imager and the app to take a stock of that image that you've had with where you are, with any characteristics you've added to that report, like a hot point or a line marker or a graph, to, um, a square potentially to yeah. focus on specific points of interest. All that information, when you send it out through the app, it just it's plain and simple, it's just that image, just send it out and that would then go via an email. That email then can land in your inbox and you will have the image itself with the data, the time, the stamp, the location, and any marker information you found relevant to the image that you took. And presumably, you could send that to colleagues or clients as well. It, it's in an email format. So whoever you need to receive it, then you can send it that way as well. And is it just a standard report template or can you customise it? No, it's just a standard block template report. They're giving you the factual information that you've seen. Okay. Once again, you can read more about the Fluke IC thermal camera by clicking the box above. Alternatively, follow the link in the description where you'll also find an option to purchase. In the meantime, we're going to be reviewing why the Fluke IC thermal camera is the tool electricians, plumbers and HVAC engineers simply can't be without. So thinking about the features and capabilities that you've mentioned, um, for what or to whom would you recommend the Fluke IC thermal camera? Okay, well, again, it appeals across almost every industry where temperature I'll call it loosely temperature or hot spots, if you like, can be critical. So everything from uh, food and beverage production right through to chemical to even just the, the house electricians, if you like, are doing domestic wiring, heating and plumbing engineers. And the reason I say that is because hot spots obviously appear in every, every environment that we go to, from a motor heating up to electrical connections, having poor connections and causing heat. Um, we see flow. So we have even had instances where people would look for um, hot cables behind joints for argument's sake. We see pipe flow, radiators, underfloor heating, boiler connections. So anything where there's going to be some temperature points of concern you want to obviously keep a sharp focus on, then these tools are a, a nice little perfect tool for you to have in your pocket and then just pull out and present them. So would you say if you need a non-contact, non-intrusive inspection tool, this is the tool for you? 100%. This is the, exactly as you've said there. It's non-intrusive. It can take images of real-world scenarios at a distance where you're safe, obviously, to capture this information. So that's great. But if I were an electrician or a heating engineer, I might be thinking, well, there are other similar thermal modules on the market. So why should I spend £500 on a fluke when some of the others are a bit less expensive? How do you answer that? Okay, well, that's, that's a valid question. Um, Fluke obviously is built on build quality, reliability, durability, and then people that obviously have the confidence in the Fluke brand. Um, it is a premium product, if you like, and uh, it's new to the market. So we spent a lot of time obviously building the right tool at the right price point with all the functionality people want. So, yeah, I just think it's, uh, it's the right product at the right price point for obviously those that rely and trust in the Fluke brand. Yeah, so it's a trusted piece of technology. So if you want to find something you can rely on, you'll choose Fluke. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so considering everything we've talked about today, is there anything else you think we should know about the Fluke IC thermal camera? It's a readily available camera now, obviously, from, uh, from yourselves. Um, it's well stocked. It's been well uh, taken into the marketplace. Um, like I say, it's reliable, it's dependable, and it does the job that you ask it to do. And if you were going to sum it up in three words? Okay, um, again, durability, reliability, and accuracy. Um, now that you're clear on why the Fluke IC thermal camera is a must-have tool, click the link in the description for more information and an option to purchase. Remember to check out our plethora of Fluke videos and subscribe, as that way all future videos will come straight to you so you'll never miss an important development. Okay, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.